Coverage now, we're looking into how much the abrupt departure of Dr. Thomas is costing taxpayers in District 11. Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross is live in studio to break down that separation agreement. Eric, what'd you find? Rob, good evening. Dr. Michael Thomas will walk away with more than $300,000 in compensation, and that does not include the health benefits he'll also receive for the next 14 months. Here's how he did that math. According to Dr. Thomas's employment contract, he earns an annual salary of $260,649. Divide that by 12 months in a year, that equals $21,720.75 per month. Now, per his separation agreement, he's entitled to 14 months of pay. So if you multiply $21,720.75 times 14 months, you get a total of $304,090.50. And yes, I triple checked that work on my calculator three times. As part of that agreement, Dr. Thomas waives his right to sue the district and have a trial by jury. However, there's a stipulation in that agreement that still allows him the option to pursue legal action through a trial by judge. Now, we still don't know all of the details surrounding Thomas's sudden departure as some of the conversations regarding his employment took place during an executive session, which is perfectly legal under the law. Thomas, Thomas's quote, amicable departure from the district comes just eight months after he signed a three-year contract extension back in July. We've posted a copy of that contract and separation agreement for you to read in its entirety right now online. Just head to KOAA.com. Diane. Eric, thank you.